This one's for you, everyone that I've met, everyone that's been there for me. Thanks, you guys. It's no secret that Saskatchewan has a problem with drinking and driving. That's why SGI launched a new campaign to show who's left behind when a loved one is killed. The commercials feature 12 Saskatchewan people who are dead because someone chose to drive under the influence. I feel when you see this ad and you hear these words, how could you not? How could you, you know, willingly get behind a vehicle and drive while impaired when you see the real true impact of the loss. Um, so I, I hope that this is going to change the mentality. Her husband Tanner and their dog were killed last summer when they were struck by an allegedly impaired 19-year-old driver just outside of Regina. She says only time will tell if this campaign will change the culture of drinking and driving here in the province. It was hard for family members to watch their loved ones disappear once more before their eyes. I, I choke up. I catch my breath, I get a little hurt in my heart, I'm, I start tearing up and uh, I remember my kids and what else are you going to do? It, it's, I know why it's there. His son, daughter-in-law and two grandchildren were all killed by a drunk driver who had more than three times the legal limit in her blood. Family members of people who were killed by impaired drivers hope this campaign will make a difference. But one father says the provincial government isn't practicing what it preaches. We owe it to ourselves, our loved ones, and all other road users to never drive if we're impaired on alcohol and drugs. Those are Don McMorris's own meaningless words at last year's campaign, and I just heard them this year at this year's campaign as well. And I hope they have more meaning this year. But McMorris is back in government caucus, voted back in by his own party, he says this is a perfect example of the lack of consequences impaired drivers face. His daughter Sarah was killed alongside her friend in 2014 when they were hit by someone in a stolen vehicle on their way to track practice. More than 600 people have been killed by impaired drivers in the last decade here in Saskatchewan. And today all family members share the same message. It's impossible to understand that kind of loss until it happens to you. Kendall Latimer, CBC News, Regina.